The dance world has sadly said goodbye to one of the greats, Mark Platt. Did you know he was a hundred years old? He sure lived a rich and full life and brought lots of great dancing to the world in his time. Yikes, Natalia Osipova has been facing an unfortunate series of trials in her first season as a principal with the Royal Ballet with one injury after the other. She recently had a slip in rehearsal that caused significant soft tissue trauma in her back and to be safe, she had to withdraw from her expected appearance as Aurora. This follows a previous incident in February when Osipova suffered a concussion after colliding with another dancer on stage. We wish her a quick recovery and hope it's smoother sailing from here on out. If you need a little inspiration for the week, look no further than six-year-old Taylor Florence. Taylor, who has cerebral palsy, normally requires a walker. With a new invention called the Firefly Upsy, she's been able to get on her feet and dance standing upright. Check out this adorable video of her dancing it up to some T-Swift moves with her mom. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. When does fantasy turn into reality? When does a concept video tell a love story and end with to be continued? Make sure to check out Down the Rabbit Hole, a passion project put together by Lauren Rosen that I had the pleasure of collaborating on, choreographing, and playing the bad guy. <laughs> There's drama, elaborate sets, and of course, a killer cast of dancers. Shot by Chris Yu, take a look and let me know what you think of the concept. Wanna know what happens next? Destiny Rising is coming to the Joyce Theater in NYC on April 21st, and it is not to be missed. The show features performances and choreography of the NYC Dance Alliance Foundation as a fundraiser to benefit the organization's college scholarship program. Yay for supporting a great cause. Actor Nick Frost has quietly held a long-time desire to star in a dance movie, and now he's got the chance. The movie Cuban Fury follows his character's quest to take up salsa in an attempt to win the heart of his boss, played by Rashida Jones. Frost himself entered the project with no dance experience and spent seven months training up for the role. Seems like all the big stars are getting in on the dance action these days. You gotta love it. Ah, the songs of summer are already starting to drop and I cannot seem to get Pitbull's latest Wild Wild Love with GRL out of my head. Even though there's not much to it, like most pop music today, the six writers, yes I said six, came up with a catchy hook that is sure to have people waving their hands side to side. Mr. Worldwide can sit back and collect his check, but it'll be great to see what GRL will do next. In the world of K-pop, all eyes and ears have been on Cran Pop recently. Their newest music video release, Ae, uh -E, features non-stop dancing to a bouncing techno beat. Though the quintet may make it look easy, there's some serious skill in their synchronicity. If you like what you see, there's definitely more to come. These gals will be tagging along with Lady Gaga this summer as part of her tour. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Lots of springtime action. Check out Canadian plugger Cassie Montgomery before you go. She has scored numerous impressive title awards in her convention and competition appearances. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all the latest edition. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Benjamin Allen. I will see you next time. <laughs>